What's up, love bugs? I am back with another video. Hey guys, hope all is well. Hope you guys are having a great winter season, holiday season. It's always fun around this time of year. You get festive, fun, and I've had a lot going on this year, and it's been an amazing 2018. But you guys, I am back with another video. I haven't done a haul in quite some time, actually, but it's definitely some top key products that I wanted and got for my wedding registry. I had my bridal shower about a month ago and I got a ton of gifts off my wedding registry. I've also been getting gifts constantly coming in. So we, one thing about me and Martinez is, is we're starting from scratch. So I put everything on there from an iron to a vacuum. Like it was, that's how extreme my wedding registry really was. And I'm very grateful that I received a lot of those items. So anyways, if this is your first time checking out my channel, hey, hit that subscribe button and bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. Also, check your girl out on the gram. Beauty on the go with Miss Joe. You guys will see some of my bachelorette party pictures on there as well. So go like them. Go, go subscribe or follow me, follow me on IG. <laughs> But anyways, these are some of the must-haves and how to actually start your wedding registry process. So wedding registry tip number one, register at places you actually shop. You'll be surprised people register at places that they wouldn't even spend their own money in. If you probably wouldn't spend your money in there, there's a slight chance that some of your guests at your wedding will probably not spend their money there. So <laughs> pick places that are very convenient for people, but places that you most importantly like and you shop on a regular basis or more than once a year. So easy places to register at, Target, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, those are pretty good places to register because you can get anywhere from garage items, bed spreads, kitchen items, um, just everyday items in general you can pick up there. So those are excellent places and they all have competitive prices. So if you can't get, say you're registered at Target and you have something on there, but somebody found it cheaper at like Bed Bath & Beyond or Macy's, then you'll still more than likely get that item that you're asking for specifically because it was somewhere else on sale. <laughs> Step number two, register at more than one place. So don't get registered happy and register at 15 different places. At that point, people are not gonna even wanna be bothered with you. I would suggest do two places, one, one an everyday place, and then the other like a specialty place, such as Crate and Barrel, West Elm, Pottery Barn, things of that nature that people will be like, oh, that's cute, or oh, let me just get her a gift card and she can figure out what she wants. Tip number three, if you don't need a registry, make that very clear and just tell people cash. It's plain and simple. When starting your registry, make sure you go through and get necessities so you're not just stuck with a whole bunch of junk that you're not gonna use. Trust me, I struggled with this a lot. I did, I was picking up stuff that you're like, girl, are you really gonna get that? Are you, do you, do you, are you going to use that? KitchenAid mixer. Sis, you can barely mix water. Are you really gonna use a KitchenAid mixer? Probably not. So don't put that on your registry. But you know what? I did. So we're not even gonna talk about that, but I did. But you just have to think about stuff like that. If somebody's gonna buy it, are you actually going to use it? Stick with the necessities and then the gift cards will fill in the ones. So my top five wedding registry must haves, especially if you're somebody who's moving into a house, moving into an apartment, or just simply moving out on your own and you guys don't have anything. So top things that you should put on your registry, five things that you should put on your registry that is good and that you will actually use. One, a good pot and pan set. Everybody can use a good pot and pan set. Um, you know, if you don't have any pots and pans, you're gonna need something to pull up water with. I'm just saying this. So a good pot and pan set. Two, get some good plates. So I would either do, I would do two sets of plates. I would do a porcelain ceramic set and then I would do an everyday wear and tear plastic set. So if, some, if it breaks, gets tore up, whatever, you will not be upset. Three, I would pick up some utensils. You can never have too many forks, knives, spoons, 
you just can't never have too many and from what I hear people lose them I don't know how you lose forks and knives and spoons your kids probably throw them in the trash whatever but you can never have too many knives spoons forks that's something you use on a day-to-day -day basis especially if you eat I would go ahead and put on there a nice glass set Everybody needs some type of drinking glasses, so you can have your daily wear and tear glasses, but also good wine glasses and beer glasses for entertainment purposes. The fourth thing that I would say put on your registry is a mop. You're going to need a mop. You might want to ask for two. I did. Just saying. You need to clean. And the last thing that you'll need on your registry is a crock pot. If you don't know how to cook, a crock pot is your best friend. Trust me, I am not a cooker. I don't know how to cook. So a lot of things go into crock pots now. You can sit there, they can run while you're at work. And hopefully the house is not burnt down when you come back. If you do it on low settings, you're good to go. But those are the five things that I would suggest putting in your registry and it will start you off in the right push. Obviously, there's other things that you can put in your registry that are necessities too. And trust me, I put a lot of other stuff in my registry and I got a lot of other stuff in my registry. But those are the top five things that I would suggest picking up. Now, let's get into what I got. Let's check out some of the things that I got, some of the gifts that I'm super, super excited about. And yeah, the first gift that I actually received, and I wanna say, I don't even have it with me, but the first gift that I received, I registered for it at Target. And I don't know if you can see it right there, but I registered for it at Target, and I don't know if y'all can see it right there, but it is a cooking pot set. So the pots and pans that I wanted, and that was one of the most um, requested, most wanted item by myself, I picked the 12-piece aluminum cookware set, the Aisha Curry aluminum cookware set. And so this comes with, it's a 12-piece cooking set, you get two covered saucepans, you get one Dutch oven covered pan, you get two skillets, you get a three-quart saucepan, then you get... I want to say you get a spoon. Yeah, I believe I got two wooden spoons. So those are basic pots and pans. And I'll just show pictures of the pots and pans. Because girl, if you don't cook like me, you don't know what they look like either. So those are basic pots and pans. But anyways, so that was one of the major ticket items that I received at my bridal shower. And I'm sure I'm gonna receive a lot more other stuff because my wedding isn't until January. <laughs> so this is just an overview of what I've gotten, all the stuff I've gotten so far, and trust me, it was a lot. So the next two items that I actually did put on my wedding registry, and I put them on my Target one. So my Target one is my more everyday realistic survival 101 stuff and my crate barrel is for pretty much entertainment and stuff that you're just you just want so any gift cards that I get from there I'll just go ahead and go down the list and the great thing about Target and crate and barrel you have a certain amount of days after your wedding happens to pick up those things and they give them to you at a discounted rate just FYI so the next item that I did receive is a Swiffer and a mop and mop bucket a Swiffer is just regular, regular, basic cleaning. A mop bucket is for deep cleaning. If you clean, then you know there's two towels. Two towels cleaning. So a next must-have that everybody needs. And, and I'll just show a picture of these over here. But I put a plate set. We don't have any nice plates and we don't even have any regular smuggler plates. So I put regular smuggler plastic plates on my Target registry and then I put porcelain and ceramic um, plate sets on my Crate and Barrel registry. So I did receive a Aspen 10 and a half inch dish set. I will show the pictures on this side. This was a pretty bomb gift. I received eight of them. I also received 12 appetizer plates. I don't really need the appetizer plates, but whatever. Um, 
that's what I put but if you are a person that is going to have a lot of people over your house like we probably will I'm pretty sure because we both have our families are very family orientated so we always do something at somebody's house so these are the plates that I picked up these are very cute easy to wash and you can definitely bring that out when you have company over so I was so those are that, and then these are what, a look at what the plastic ones I put on Target looks like, and these were super cheap. I put the, the this size one, and then I put the large cup size on there, and then the plates, they were so cheap, the person just picked up all eight, all eight plates and all 16 cups, because they were just relatively that inexpensive, and these are everyday dishwasher safe cups the third must have that I put on there and this is good for just storage purposes whether you stick these on your counter or whether you put them in your pantry but I put on my registry flour and sugar canisters I also put plastic canisters on there so I can hold cereal crackers spaghetti things of that nature and I did receive quite a few of those um, plastic canisters as well but canisters must have whether they are porcelain canisters like I said plastic canisters anything like that it's just an easy way to organize and keep everything nice and clean and straight in your kitchen and it's relatively inexpensive and you can buy a buku ton of them label them and move on with your day these are definitely first-time homeowners even just like already existing homeowners or already existing apartment livers these are definite must must have something that you can hold product in i received the matching tea sugar one as well so uh, another must have and this was something fun for Salvador, not necessarily for me. So this was a way to include him in the registry, our beer mugs. So I will show you guys the picture of the beer mugs. I placed those, and let me tell y'all about Crane Barrel. Crane Barrel packs these boxes up. Ooh, they pack them up. So I registered for eight, um, I registered for eight of these. They're the beer mugs. Like I said, I'll put a picture next to it so you guys can see it. They're fun, easy. If your husband likes to drink beer or you have family members that come over and like to drink beer and you don't want the glass bottles laying around your house or you just want to recycle them or whatever, these are great entertainment purposes and they're also a fun way to make your husband feel like he's included on your registry. Because Salvador was like, nothing's for me. I know. I know, I'm so sorry. So that was an awesome way to include him on the registry and a gift especially for him that I know he's going to use. The next must have, I went ahead and loved these. I picked up two of these and I don't know if you guys remember these. I've had these for a long time. So I honestly needed a set of four. So I went ahead and put the additional Camille Rose red wine glasses on my registry and I received the additional two which I was so excited about um exciting still I don't know if y'all know these wine glasses are actually not they're not cheap for one they're I want to say they retail for like $12.95 for just one that's pretty expensive when you can probably add another 12 and get four so yeah but anyways so I put the additional two on there so I can complete my wine glass set and I did receive that so I was so excited about that so I have a full set but these are definitely a must-have they will allow your one glass wine minimum to be great and they're also good for entertainment purposes but anyways so the ba other basic must-haves that are fun and 
an easy gift for somebody to pick up. I went ahead and got these, um, put these OXO cleaning bristle pads and they're the stainless steel ones. I actually like these ones because the head is detachable and it's relatively inexpensive to replace the head. So I don't have to replace the entire um, thing. And then this is where your soap comes out. But, and this is the head detached. So everybody cleans dishes. And a lot of stuff you have to hand wash. So, this is relatively easy to replace, and that's so cute, isn't it? You put, you put a lot of stuff in this thing. Other must-haves that I put on my list are oven mitts. Everybody needs oven mitts, but these ones are actually silicone ones. So, what's cool about this is it grips the pots better, and it protects the heat, because sometimes if you're oven mitts are kind of thin that the heat still seeps through and depending on what kind of pan you're pulling out it's just too much and you're like oh my gosh but these are a way to help protect your hands from the heat and also grip whatever you're grabbing better so I put actually a couple of these on my reading registry and I received quite a few of these you can never have too many oven mitts and this one, this entire one is made out of silicone front and back, so that is pretty nifty. I want to say in this box, I just got like measuring cups. This, those are must-haves. These little teaspoons, tablespoons, things. Okay, so in this one, I'm actually not, do I wanna open this? No, I don't. Um, this one is bowls, so I will put the bowls on the side, so you can never have too many bowls. I put bistro bowls on there, so they're the massive soup bowls, and I like a lot of soups, I eat a lot of soups, so you can never go wrong with those. I didn't put plastic ones on there, but I did put porcelain ones on there, and those are the porcelain ones. So actually I am gonna open this up for y'all so y'all can see. Another necessity is a utensil holder. So this is pretty cute. So you can put your forks, spoons, knives, um, your scissors. It's a called a silver silverware tray at Crate and Barrel. It's by what is this? Made Smart. So this is pretty, pretty cute. It has this little matte silicone um, thing at the bottom so it keeps the tray pretty clean. You can just wipe this off if something does get in it or if this gets wet, it just absorbs it. Um, you can put long skinny knives here and like I said, you can put scissors or anything like that. But that is definitely a necessity to organize your tray. There's a sink caddy on there. I don't even know what that sink caddy is. Y'all, I have stuff everywhere. Like, oh, legit. Like, I have stuff everywhere. Um, but anyway, so I put a sink caddy on there. And I'll put a picture there. But I got that. It's a sink organizer. So you can put your little, um, you can put your soap dispenser thing there. You can put your dish rag in there as well as the soap. Um, so it's pretty cute. I don't think it's a necessity, it was more of an organizational want, but still, hey, it's a must have. Must haves, some of them I have received, some of them I haven't. Um, one of them is a black plus Decker 12 piece um, drill driver project kit. So that's something fun for the guys. It's like little tools, screws, hammers, things of that nature. So I did put that on there for him. I also went ahead and put on there um, another vacuum. It is a shop vac vacuum. So a vacuum for your garage. I don't know if we're going to get that. However, I put it on there and even if we don't get it, we can pick it up within that 30 days and we get like an additional like 10, 20% off or something like that. So that wasn't too bad. I also went ahead and put a ladder on there for him as well. I didn't realize how expensive ladders were. 
Um, but again, these are all garage necessities. I put trash cans on there. You never know how expensive trash cans are until you have to buy one. And an actual good one. So that is also necessities. I put bath towels. Those I know we did get and they're somewhere in a box. Which comes with three washcloths, two, no, four washcloths, two um, face towels, and then two actual towels. We put shower curtains on our wedding registry, comforters. Oh, I put an electric uh, corkscrew on there. I actually did receive that. And an electric can opener. I don't think those are must-haves. Those were just pretty much wants. I put a food processor on there, but y'all, I don't even know I'm need that. Someone did pick that up for me. Shout out to you, Jose, for getting me that. But if you like, if you need a food processor, put it on there because somebody will buy it. Another must have that we put on there is knives. So if, like I said, coming out with like no kind of products or anything of that nature, like knives are definitely a huge, huge, huge must have a good knife set and I'm surprised that we actually did receive it because I felt they were kind of pricey but what else hey y'all sorry I don't even know what happened to the ending it kind of like went bye bye but thank you guys so much for tuning into my wedding registry haul until next time y'all bye